Number two, you've got to control your environment and you've got to set yourself up to win. I've got this weird thing that I do when I'm on a diet, right? Which, by the way, I'm changing my, my vocabulary around that because diets are painful and horrible and difficult, but I'm changing it to this is the way I am. This is not like a diet because that implies that I'm only going to do it for a certain amount of time, all right? If I think that way, then I'm always looking to cheat the diet. No, see, that's bad language. That's, that's saying that I'm only going to do this temporarily and it's going to be difficult. I'm going on a diet. What I say is this is the way I am. I'm fit. I'm lean. There is, I do not, I get on the scale and there is a number that I will never go past. That's it. If I start going, man, then, then you know, I'm, I'm on the spin bike every day until I lose it quick. So, but I'm monitoring it. I'm monitoring it. I'm not waiting until my pants don't fit. It's a lifestyle choice now. This is the way I am. I incorporate it into my, uh, into my psyche, into who I am, okay? But I have to control my environment because when, I, when I'm cutting back, let's say, and I have to make some adjustments, I can't have anything in the house that is temptation food. And when, when I'm hungry, everything's temptation food. Um, you know, it's sort of like, and I have this weird thing I do. I swear I do. This is it's embarrassing to even admit. I will walk over to the pantry and fridge, and I will open up and stand there and look. Because I'm looking for maybe the one thing that's behind a can of soup or something that I forgot to throw away, you know, that I can eat. And I know I do this, and I'll do it multiple times. I do it even subconsciously. I'll be walking around, be thinking of something, and I'll be going over the pantry going, I want something. And, you know, most often not, I, I'm not even hungry. Another thing I've noticed is I'm not even hungry. It's a psychological, emotional reaction to stress. And so I've, I've recognized that in myself. So just knowing that I can't have anything in the house, even the baby, you know, and, it's, and I go, oh, the baby, well, you know what? The, it's good for the baby, too. She doesn't need that crap either. You know, she should be eating spinach, and she does. You know why? Because that's all there is in the damn house. I can't find another crumb of food anywhere. <laughs> but it's true. If I want the crap, I got to go out and get it, and by the time I get in the car and everything else, I start thinking, hey, you know what? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. And, you know, I've asked my husband to hold me accountable. He's like, hell no, I ain't doing that. <laughs> I've seen you with a cookie. I am not about to try and snatch that thing out of your hand. <laughs> you can do more push-ups than I can. Anyway, so you got to control your environment. Now, what does that mean from a work? That's why I work from home. I've got a room in my house, downstairs in the basement, and the whole environment's set up to, for me to be able to work. When I sit at my desk, I instantly go into productivity mode, into work mode, because I'm anchored that way. I, that's, you know, that's where I, it's where I work. It's one spot, and there's no interruptions. I've got one phone that comes in. It doesn't have voicemail. It doesn't have call waiting. I has a do not disturb button on it, and I push the button in the morning. And my staff, nobody has the number. My staff has it, and I mean, it would have to be the building is on fire, and, I mean, the building I'm in is on fire, and then they're going to call me and let me know. Um, and that's the orange cone time we talked about. So I make sure my environment is set up. The baby doesn't come down there. The ma grandma doesn't bring the baby down there. If the dogs get annoying, they get upstairs. If they're barking at a squirrel, they're upstairs. I can control my environment. And I don't give a toss how much you guys say, oh, well, you don't have kids, and they interrupt. You control the environment. You control the environment. You are in charge of your time. Stop blaming other people. Remember in the first talk I said things might have to, in order to get a result, it has to be a what? Instead of a, what was the second thing? You have to, you have, oh God, we're in trouble. You have to what? What was number two? You have to take full responsibility for that, so you are fully responsible. Children will listen. You know, if you've got issues with family where they're interrupting you constantly, I don't know. I don't have that issue because I set the rules really early on. But you control your environment, all right? You've got to set yourself up to win. Here's another thing. Do you know that, that email send and receive can be, like, turned off so email doesn't come in automatically? Do you guys know that? Did you know, this is really cool, you can block Facebook. There's this thing called web content filtering and stuff, and you can actually block certain websites. Do you guys know that? Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool you could turn the send and receive off so it's not like you're, you're not like on crack every time, you know, like every time an email comes in? 
You can do those things. Control your environment. And in the beginning, that's the kind of stuff you're going to have to do. It's the equivalent of cleaning out the refrigerator except for a bag of spinach. And believe me, it's not going to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. If it was easy, every one of you in here would be adding over half a million dollars in profit to your bottom line, like the people up here were. In order to get those results, it's, you have to be unreasonable. It is unreasonable to think that you would fire your top revenue-producing client because you know heart, in your heart that they're not profitable enough. That is unreasonable. It's unreasonable to expect somebody to continue to market after their building was wiped out by a tornado. That is unreasonable. But unreasonable people get results. And if you're not putting those demands on yourself, nobody else is. It's you take full responsibility. And you've got to figure it out. And you've got to control your environment. 